So I want to take a minute to talk about stress, specifically stressful breathing. Hopefully right now is the worst stressful time that you'll ever go through in your life with everything going on, but maybe you're just stressed out in general, okay? And when we're stressed out, we have a tendency to breathe through our rib expansion way too much. It's okay to expand your ribs to breathe if you're running from a bear, but we don't want to be running from a bear all the time. Optimal breathing patterns comes from your diaphragm going down into your guts, thus sucking air into your lungs by creating a vacuum. Okay, that accounts for about 80 to 90% of your total oxygen uptake. That's awesome. Which leaves about 10 to 20% of that oxygen uptake being available by your ribs expanding to create more space for your lungs. So what we want to do is look at how you are breathing. And if you want to do this with me, uh, film yourself, shoot me a DM, by all means do so. I love looking at breathing. So first getting into the position, laying flat on your back with your knees up. What this does is tilt your pelvis back a little bit and hopefully provides you more space to breathe north and south with your diaphragm as well as east to west. Okay. So then what we want to do is place a hand on your chest and a hand on your belly. And I just like telling people to take three slightly, slightly larger than normal breaths. If I take a big breath, I should be filling my lungs up with my, my rib cage because it's a big breath. I'm trying to get that last little 10 to 20%. A slightly larger than normal breath should only be using my diaphragm still. So that hand on my chest and the hand on my belly, I just get a little feedback of what's moving most and first and everything else, whether it's my belly or my diaphragm or my chest, AKA my rib cage, okay? So again, 80, 90% of your oxygen uptake comes through that diaphragm creating a vacuum. I want your belly hand rising first and most versus your chest hand rising least and hopefully last. So we're trying to get that 10 to 20% last, if anything, okay? So an aberrant breathing pattern or a bad breathing pattern would look something like this, where we get that chest hand rising first and most and my belly hand didn't do anything. Whereas a optimal breathing pattern or a more efficient breathing pattern that's going to allow for more oxygen uptake is going to look something like this. Okay, so my chest hand there didn't rise barely anything at all, and only my belly hand was going up and down, as well as, if you could pay attention, east and west or out to the sides as well. We wanna start your breathing patterns going north to south. I, I like seeing people being able to distend their belly to get that diaphragm coming down, sucking air into your lungs, perfect awesomeness. Then we can start focusing on things like breathing into your back and into your sides, but we need this initial communication with your diaphragm first, conscientiously or on purpose, before subconsciously or involuntarily, you're going to be able to breathe like that, hopefully for a longer duration throughout the day. So there you guys have it. Hopefully that allows you to look at breathing with a little bit more simplistic terms and simplistic ideas of, is it more of my chest or is it my belly? And again, we want more belly or diaphragmatic breathing.